Tally. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I am finally going to make something that I've been getting a lot of requests for. It is my lasagna. Now, this is a basic meat and cheese lasagna. Um, that's what we're going to do. So, we're first going to start to make our meat sauce. And this is what you need for the meat sauce you need some ground up sausage, Italian sausage. You're going to need some ground beef, some tomato puree, some chopped up onions, some red wine, and of course, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil. Now, this is just a basic lasagna recipe that has been handed down to me by my mother, by my grandpa, my, my grandmother. Um, I do make a dozen different lasagnas. I make vegetarian lasagna, seafood, white lasagna, holiday lasagna, but this is the basic, okay? So let's go to the stove and start cooking our meat sauce. I have a large pot here with about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil preheating for our onions. Putting my onions in. Isn't that a beautiful sound? I have this over medium high heat and you want these to cook down and caramelize and it'll take about uh, four to five minutes and then we'll add in our, our ground beef and our ground sausage. Now my onions are nice and translucent. They're not really browned or anything yet and that's fine. They've been cooking for four minutes because now we're going to add in our ground meat, our ground sausage and ground beef and you want to break this up. Now growing up my grandmother used to make teeny teeny weeny meatballs out of this ground, you know, ground meat and ground sausage. I don't have the patience for it. There is no way I'm going to sit there and make hundreds of these teeny, teeny, tiny meatballs. It literally took all day, but she had me to do it. That's why she did it. So my mother just used to cook the ground beef and ground sausage like so. So that's how I do it. You know, I want to make sure that it's delicious, but I also want to make sure it doesn't take me all day. And I think, you know, that's a lot, it's a big, um, I think people always say that they don't do something because it takes too long. But you're not doing anything to it, you're putting it together, but then it cooks by itself. So we're gonna just gonna break this up. You wanna just break this up and you wanna let this cook until it's all the way cooked through, or well, mostly cooked through. You know, it'll take about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll add the wine and the rest of the ingredients. Now my sausage and ground beef have been cooking together with the onion on medium heat for about five minutes. And as you can see, it's just about cooked all the way through, but that doesn't matter. Now I'm going to add in the red wine. Mmm, I just know this is going to be delicious. And now this is going to be much more, you know, a uh, meat sauce that you're going to need to assemble your lasagna, but the whole point about this is you want extra sauce to spoon over your lasagna. I mean, otherwise, you know, when it cooks in the oven, it dries out a little, which is what you want because it stays together, but I need that extra sauce. So we put in the wine. You don't need to let, that, let that cook for very long. Okay. Now we're going to put in our tomato puree. Now, depending on the brand that you buy, some are thicker than others. This is a really thick puree. So I'm adding three 28 ounce cans. And I'm going to also add a little bit of water. This is really, really thick. So. About a half a can she'll do, and it does. Oh, this is perfect. Nice and thick. This is what you want. This is what makes it so incredibly delicious. My grandmother used to say that you know you have good meat sauce. You know you have good meat sauce when at the end of the three and a half hour cooking, you stick your spoon into it and it stays. That's, that's when you know you've got it, you did it right. So now, heat back to medium low. Okay, you're going to put a lid partially on, okay, as you can see there's, the lid's not all the way on, but that's what you want. You want the water to evaporate and you want the sauce to concentrate and thicken up. And you're going to leave this alone for about three and a half hours. So you're going to check on it every now and then, give it a stir, but you're going to leave it alone for three and a half hours. In the meantime, I'm going to go do some cleaning and this needs no attention from me. Okay, now my sauce has been cooking for four hours. It's beautifully thickened. Look at that. It's exactly what you want. It's perfect. So now I want to season it with salt and pepper. I know, starting with the pepper. Don't ask. Mmm, it's gonna be smells incredibly good. Like so. Okie doke. And 
just want to put in some fresh basil. Can't make meat sauce or any kind of sauce without fresh basil. You just can't, can't be done. Give this a nice little stir. Take it off the heat. Mmm. Oh, smell of my childhood. So good. Just want to give it a quick little taste for seasoning. A bit more salt. Mmm. Smells fine. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. Always adjust the seasoning before you put it in, you start assembling it. Here we go. Now let me show you the rest of the ingredients you're gonna need to finish the dish. You're gonna need some pasta, some lasagna noodles, right here that I've only cooked to for about four or five minutes, so they're pliable, not till they're all the way done, because they're gonna continue cooking in the oven. Some whole milk ricotta, parmigiano reggiano, some fresh mozzarella that I've cut very thinly, salt and pepper, and an egg. And of course you're gonna need your meat sauce. Now, first thing we're gonna do is make the ricotta layer for this, if I can get the lid open. Now you want to make sure you use whole milk ricotta, not the part skim, none of that. And it has to be the real thing. You need two pounds of it. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna make a lot of lasagna. One egg, like that. Season this. And very little bit of salt, because remember we have salt already in the sauce, and we already have a lot of salt in the parmigiano reggiano that we're going to add now. Nah, that should do it. Okay, mix this up until it's well combined. Okie doke, everything's well combined. Now, take your olive oil, just a little drizzle on your casserole dish, okay? Take your pastry brush, and it has to go all over because you don't want the lasagna noodles to stick. There's no point in making something delicious if you can't get it out of the pan. Lovely. Okay, now, this is gonna go really quickly. Take some of your sauce at the bottom, like so. Pasta, line the bottom, overlapping just a little. Last one. Now, you take your ricotta mixture. And what you want to do is you want to spread this on the pasta, just like that. That's exactly what you want. Then you want to make sure you take some of your pasta sauce, your meat sauce, I should say. After the sauce goes the mozzarella. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to layer this out because the mozzarella is going to ooze. After the mozzarella, a nice sprinkle of your parmigiano and start all over again from the noodles to do the ricotta to the sauce and the mozzarella. All over again until you have a complete layer and you want to end up with the mozzarella and the parmigiano. That's what you want to end up. So keep going. Last layer of parmesan. Okay, this is gonna go into a preheated 375 degree oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Most ovens vary, so check it at 45 minutes. It's getting too brown at the top. Put a little aluminum foil on it. Otherwise, let it go for an hour. My lasagna is out of the oven. I just took it out, so you don't wanna cut it for any extent of 20 minutes. Otherwise, it's gonna fall apart and be all over the place and be a mess. You really want to have nice and together and then spoon some of the extra meat sauce on the top and it would be Amazing, I promise you. This is the ultimate meat and cheese lasagna. Get this recipe on my website and other fabulous recipes at www.learnthekitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.